Hello again, welcome to a, another presentation. Uh, today we're going to just look at uh, where we can clear paper jams from the 8 series machine on the Konica Minolta Biz Hub. We have basically three locations. One is our document cleaner. Second is our vertical section just on the right side here. And also as a new uh, add-on with this, this series machine that we can actually remove a paper jam or a paper uh, that's fallen behind the actual trays uh, without having to log a service call. So I'd like to start with this, this particular one first. So with this 8 series machine we have uh, uh, trays 1 and 2. If you have a large capacity tray as an option this is easily done by actually pulling out the drawer. Uh, we don't have it in this example at the moment. Um, so that's probably something we can cover a little bit later on. But if you do have the one with the large capacity tray, it's really just a matter of opening up the drawer, drawer and grabbing it and pulling it out. If there's paper loaded inside, remove that paper first before doing so. But what we really want to highlight today is this feature of quick releasing the trays one and two. Okay, we're just going to show you how to actually remove the tray uh, from the machine here. First thing you like to do before you do that, um, you can remove the actual paper from the tray, depending on how much you've got in there, but we're just doing it for the exercise. Remove your paper from the tray. We have a green little lever to the left here, it's a locking lever. We're going to actually flick that to the left and you can hear it click, which indicates it's uh, unlocked. Now at this point here, you want to grab it nice and firm and then pretty much you want to just yank it out. If it's a little bit hard at first, keep persevering with it. It will eventually give way, especially if it hasn't been pulled out before. And when you're done, just the reverse side of it. Well, actually, by the way, before we do that, the reason why we've actually pulled the tray out is we want to remove the paper from the rear. At this point, this, what you want to do is open up the actual door, turn the actual switch in the off position, so we're cutting power to the machine just as a precaution and then you peer inside and you'll see a bit of paper that's uh, in the rear there okay so just simply reach in pull that out and of course if it's in tray two you can follow the same process by removing that drawer uh, that unlocking that lever there as well but if you can just do the one drawer you can get both of them at the same time if need be Okay, so we're going to close tray two and to actually put that back in, it's the reverse process uh, from when we removed it. We're going to push that in all the way in, and what you'll find there is you'll automatically lock by bringing that uh, green lever back toward the right there. Reinsert your paper, close your drawer, and by the way, don't forget to actually switch it back on. Now coming around to the right here, in our vertical section here, if we have a paper jam, we have two sections. First of all, it's just in the main section there. Anything that's green, you can maneuver up and down to actually uh, find that sheet of paper. You can get a jam in the actual fuser there as well. Uh, that can be a bit hard as well. You can you can put one finger there and then pull the sheet out. Generally, um, it's, it's, it's very easy. The next section is your duplex section. That's the next place where you will be able to find a paper jam. And by the way, it'll always indicate on the control panel exactly where that jam will be located. Anything that's green, like a knob or a lever, you can manipulate to help you assist uh, in removing that paper. Uh, but of course, when in doubt or if the paper jam is, is too far embedded and you can't get to it, please log a service call. When you're done here, close that duplex door and then a nice firm close on the right there. Okay, the last section is our docking feeder. There is, we have two types of document feeders. One is a reverse document feeder and the other one is a dual scanner. The one we're looking at today is the dual scan version. And once again, if you get a paper jam, you'll see that registered on the display panel there. Most common place you'll find that paper jam is in this feeding section. Okay, open up that door remove your sheet and then when you're done close that door there if it was the reverse document feeder open up that door and there will be an actual lever here that you can open up 
and uh, remove it from the reverse side. Same process, close that door, close the left hand door and you're done. Underneath the machine on the dual scan version, you have a release lever. Click that down, out it comes. Two hands to remove the sheet of paper. And when you're done, most importantly, make sure you press your thumb here in the center here, just so you apply that pressure evenly when you close that actual duplex section. Okay, and when you're done, close the lid. That's pretty much it. Um, if you've got any questions and you'd like to know a little bit more about where Paper Jam's at, please give the office a call. Thank you kindly.